You are now tuned in to the Gifted Gab. It's good to have you on the podcast, bro. Shit, how you 66 feeling? Six two, you feel me? Um, <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. You've been meaning to do this for a while. So yeah, no, I feel you, bro. We had a little last week's, you know, fiasco, yeah, but you know, we here. We, that was on me. Soft, soft, soft. Yeah. No finger pointing, but soft. We good, we good here, bro. So, uh, how you been, bro? No, nah, I've been good. Um, I've been good. I've been. I've been better. I've been worse, but you, you can move the mic too. You can get okay. it close to me. Yeah. I've been better. I've been worse. Yeah. Um, you know, things are getting back to well, a semblance of normal. This guy like, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not. It's been better. Facts. So, you know, just making sure you go. I've been going on walks. I've been just doing things I didn't normally do before, like mm-hmm. prior to March, all that. Just taking more, taking more care of myself. Facts. Um, I haven't been around basketball. Just finding what you actually enjoy, like. Just having answer, finding an answer to uh, when people ask what you're saying. It's like making sure that, <laughs> that you're good to go. That there's something that I'm bro, saying. Bro, I was this is funny because that's that's one of the reasons why I wanted to, to bring you on, bro. That that what are you saying conversation. You know what I'm saying? You're in the mall or you're anywhere, you meet someone you haven't you see someone you haven't seen in a minute. Talks yo, always, yo, what is what are you saying? What's good? How you been? Yo, I even I got to a point where I'm even iffy about even saying that to people just because I don't know if it's for me or if it's for them because it's gonna come off like people get nervous. Like yeah. you might not see it in their face, but just in their reply, like, yo, when they start giving you a bunch of answers that aren't really saying anything. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Not a whole about. lot of nothing. It's like, yo. Yo, what are you saying? Yo, to be honest, yo, I'm just working on that. Yo, you already you already know me, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you already, you already, you already know, know what I'm on, bro. I'm blessed, yeah. yeah. You already know me, but yo, if you need anything, just holla. That- Man, when have I ever asked you for anything? Bro, like, the hell up, like bro. Ever. Yeah, thanks. Man, you don't even know, I don't even know who I'm actually talking to. Bro. And that day I saw you, I'm probably healing. I'm having a seven-minute conversation mm. with someone. Mind you, I don't know who I'm talking to for real, so I'm trying to, like, hope that they, like, say something that will trigger someone that we mutually know. Yeah. I have no idea who I was talking to. It's the worst, too, bro, because sometimes, like, it's awkward as hell. You know, sometimes you have those times where it's like, fuck, like, you know, sometimes we don't have anything in common. So, like, should I just keep it moving? Should I keep it pushing? Or should I, you know, try to push this conversation? It, it's, it's more so more uncomfortable with people that, like, we've known each other. Or we've been in, in circles around each other. So, yeah. we made that eye contact it's from like, around Cinnabon. <sighs> and you're, you're probably around... Probably around you're, Champs. You're probably around... Around okay, Champs. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Around all the wish. Yeah, yeah. So, we kind of have to speak. Yeah. But now it gets to that point, like, me and you have never spoken before. So, it's like... And when they come with the excitement, <laughs> when their hand is up, like, ah! It's popping, yo, that, fam. Like, you? Yeah. Like, yo, Who's that? <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. I don't have an answer for you. Yeah. So now, more times, I, they'll be like, yo, what's up? See, it's like someone asking you, are you blessed? It's kind of rhetorical. Like, you can't say no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, no one has ever said no to, like, <laughs> it's, it's facts. Don't, don't say no. Don't one's ever, say no. Like, this one person <laughs> that... He said no to my bro, and from that day, I, that's why <laughs> it came to my mind, like, yo, what? yo, you can't say no, like, and I was like, yo, fam, yo. Yo, you're blessed, yo, to be honest, fam, <laughs> yo, I'm not, still, and a certain, yo, co- a certain <laughs> coach that we mutually had, it's like, yo, this guy doesn't like me, bro, like, I don't even know what's going on, that's now, crazy. this is early in the morning, yeah. like, that just ruined my bro's whole day, like, yeah. yo, fam, what are you even talking about right now? It's like, there's no answer for stuff like Dog, that. Dog, so. that is that's crazy though. When someone that no one ever says no, no one because no one wants to get looked at as like weak or like you know you don't have it all together. For whatever whatever the reason is, you probably don't even think about it. But when someone asks you what you're saying, like you feel like you have to have, especially if it's been a long time since I've seen you. So now I feel like I have to have an answer, yeah. like to show you that I haven't been doing nothing. Yeah. I haven't been falling off since you last seen me. Facts. Yo, to be honest, yo, I'm just working on this invest. Like you know, you feel me, like. We talk to a real estate, you know, the yeah, cliches that yeah. you can never go wrong. Like, yo, investing in some, you're trying to get on Forex, fam. Yo, let me holler at you for a second, anything. bro. Yo, to be honest, yo, I have this thing, bro. Just give me your number and I'll holler, I'll holler at, you. at you. Trust me, trust me. You're free for a call at nine tonight. See, I, got you, bro. I don't even know what to say. You give me your number, I don't even know what to say with that because, again, I don't really know <laughs> yeah, your I don't name, you know right? you, yeah. So, it's so and so, so and so's boy, yeah. That's what it is bro, sometimes. That's fucked though, bro. That's fucked. I I re- I just realized it now, man. Like a lot of times you say, oh, you blessed, bro. It's always, yeah, blessed. You're good. And then other times too, like they'll try to flip the the focus onto you quick. You know what I'm no. saying? They don't want to they don't want to keep the topic on them is be like, yo, are you blessed? Yeah, everything's good. What about you though? 
You know what I'm saying? You could tell him to speak. Like, someone told me a long time ago, don't really be, tr- don't trust someone that talks too fast. Mm-hmm. Like, what's, what's the rush about? That's true. So, you can even see by the speed of when someone starts talking, they'll be like, say, yo, what are you saying? They'll be like, yo, to be honest, I'm working on a little bit of stuff. But what are you saying? And it slows down when they start asking you. Like, <laughs> yeah, see? yeah. At that point, like, yeah. You, you, you know yourself to just like, okay, don't yeah, ask. Yeah, they're, they're fumbling a little bit the way they you, speak. Or let's say you know them for doing something. Like, yo, you know them for, mm. last time you seen them, they were at U of, T, U of T. They were writing, they were coaching, they were doing anything. So it turns to, um, yo, so are you still doing that? Once you could kind of get the vibe that like, this is making them uncomfortable. Yeah. So now they feel like, to be honest, yeah, I took a break from it. St- Yo, just say no. Yeah, like, I'm not yeah, really feeling it. Exactly. All right. No, that didn't work out. But people are always going to say, no, nah, to be honest, I just took a little break. Like, I, you, you know, know what the like, problem with that is too, bro? Is like when people lie and say they have it all together, if they didn't, you're not allowing other people to come and help out. Because how would I know that you don't have it all together? And that's what we spoke about, right? Exactly. Like, that's why I said, like, because people always like to, they like to, at times, when they get back on their feet, that's when you start hearing about the problems, Thanks. right? Uh, me and you, like, we were speaking about strangers before, people that are acquaintances or so. Yeah. Um, but more so when it goes to people that you actually know. So my friends, I'll have a friend. Let's, I'll, let's call him X. Yeah, yeah. I don't have no friends named X. Okay, yeah, so yeah, let's call him X, yeah. right? So it'll be, he's quiet or he's acting regular. He's, everything is normal around me, Right. But he's going through it. For the last seven months, he's been going through it. For however long, Couldn't he's been going anything. through it. And he's not saying anything, right? But now he's building up like the world is against me. And for whatever it may be, whatever he's going through, because it might be something, might, he might have a job. Everything from the outside is good enough for me. When I ask him, what are you saying? Mm-hmm. Everything is good. But whatever is bothering him, maybe he has to... He now has to financially cover a little bit more than he used to. Yeah. Or his responsibility doing something, coaching or playing ball. Like he expectation is, has risen and whatever yeah. it may be in his life. Now it's just adding a little pressure to him and it, he's not coping well. So when he get, finally does get through it, maybe it'd be whether it be in five months to a year to two years. That per- I've realized that people tend to build a resentment like no one was there no for me. No one was there to me, yeah. But I didn't know you were going through it. <laughs> like, you feel me? I, had the re- I may have had the resources to help me. If you don't tell me you're thirsty... Yeah, how like, can I ever, how can I ever give you that drink? You see me with water, and you feel like, yo, this guy told me, this guy's drinking water, yeah. and, he's, and he knows I'm thirsty, or I'm thirsty, and everyone has water, and everyone's letting me... Mm-hmm. You feel me? And that's not the situation... And that's not the situation I have. We didn't know you were going through it, because I don't think much of this. Like... Like, this is just water for me, right? Mm. This is just water for me. But for you, you, like, you're dehydrated. Whatever the case, you're thirsty, whatever. You need, like, you're in need for this. This, yeah. this would be your saving grace. And because I don't know you're going through, I'm just viewing it as what I might even toss it because I'm like, I just forgot my yeah, water bottle. Yeah, like, yeah. who cares? Not yeah. knowing that this could be a make or break for you. or th- Just situations like that. I find, like, yeah, a lot of times, I'm not, I won't say the struggle is exaggerated because people go through what they're going through, you know? But like you are saying before, they could make that struggle a lot easier just by asking. But I think a lot of people, what it comes down to is just pride. It's you a, know? I feel like it's a mix of pride and like, and, and, and just feeling of embarrassment. Like, yeah, embarrassment too. Because again, two people will be, I've seen two people be with them at different occasions. They're both faking their life, mm. and this person feels like their life is inadequate because this fake life that this other person presented, yeah. and vice versa. <laughs> now they're both messed up because this this thinks he's better than this guy, it's and vice versa. And you guys are bro. both and you guys are both messed up. <laughs> when you guys could both what whatever the situation may be, people are are doing wild things, trying to reach a level mm. that someone is made a facade of. Like mm. that's not actually the situation. So people are chasing something that doesn't. It's not even real. Everyone, yo, yo, all these little, because I have a friend. He's like, yo, all these guys have Rolexes, bro. Like, I need to get a Rolex. (laughs) Or everyone's buying a house. Or everyone has, everyone has a BMW. I'm like, Rosty. Relax. I'm looking at that. If you have a decent credit, fam, you could have a BMW today, fam. But do you want it because do you want it because you want it, or do you want it because everyone else has it? Fine thing. That's why I said. That's why initially I said when I started off, you asked me what I've been doing, how I've been. Yo, you just have to find the things that you actually like. Not yeah. what people expect you to like. The people ask me, yo, Toby, are you still playing? No. Facts. No. You like, tell them no, straight, bro. Not at all. Like, yeah. I'm not playing basketball. Only time I'm around basketball is when I'm coaching kids. 
That's it. You're not like, beating around the bush and say, like, yeah, I'm trying nah, to like, like push trying, through like, it, bro. Like, 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 I'm like, in the you gym. Know my, you know my knee, like, I swear I John Dennis. I'm getting like, some rehab, crazy. but like, yeah. Like, no, no, no rehab, <laughs> yeah. like nothing. Like, I'm not doing nothing like yeah. that. You're not going to see me doing that. That was good when it was. Big facts. And then now I'm progressing to whatever. Big and facts. people have to just get comfortable saying like, yo, right now I'm figuring it out. Yeah, 100%. That's that's a that's real gems right there, bro. I think just admitting that you don't have it all together is a part of just figuring it out and just a part of the process of getting better. That's kind of what humanizes yourself towards other people. Yeah. People feel like when you look like you have things everything sorted out and sorted together, out, you kind of get to You wanna feel like you have your shit sorted out people too. You wanna feel like you're relatable. Yeah. Like we all have celebrities or people that we look up to. Um or like that we, whether it be on TV or based on wherever mm-hmm. it is that we, we came across them, right? The thing is, the thing is, more, more times than not, they don't exist. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't, they, they exist to us, but they don't really exist. Like, we, they're not tangible to us. We yeah. only consume them when they're available. So yeah. If, like, Kobe was my favorite player, Tracy McGrady too. Once Tracy McGrady retired, like, he stopped, <coughs> once, once he got injured to me, he right, stopped hurt. existing. Yeah, but yeah. once he retired, like, once the day Kobe retired, that's the day that, because I only enjoyed him as a basketball player. Yeah. I don't care. He won an yeah. Oscar. After that, it was like, you know what it is? Making children's <laughs> books. Like that, that's cool for you. God yeah, bless videos, you. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know you personally yeah. for me to feel the success in all those other ventures. It's, yeah, like you're saying before, it's about relatability, bro. I think um, what you're talking about, like admitting the struggle is important. Like, you know, I was talking about on the last episode with Felicia. She was on this 1K episode before, but like... Um, Admitting it, you don't have admitting you don't have it all together is important. It's it's cozy. It's cool. It's calm. You see these celebrities that you know we kind of look up to, and we're like, oh shit, like they have it all together. But when they come out and say, oh, I'm struggling with this, this, and that, it makes us as fans be like, okay, they they're like us. They're exactly like us. They bleed the same way. They tie their shoes the same way. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it all comes down to relatability, like you're just saying, bro. Just being conscious that regardless of success and stuff. The same things that matter to you, people are people, regardless of the situation. Yeah. So people not the same way you feel like, yo, this person is on TV every day. This person is a public figure. People make it, people making fun of you. Yeah. Like that affects them the same way it affect the kid in, in mm-hmm. third grade that people said, whatever his shoes were dirty or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Like, um, it's just a different scale. Like you feel like they build tough skin, but they have a team around them to help. To help with that process. Not let, again, when you are going through stuff, you feel like the whole world's looking at you. For them, Mm -hmm. they feel the same way too, but they have a team of people who are are hired Mm -hmm. to make sure that when they have their outbursts or they are crying, it's not for the world to consume. Facts, yeah. Your world, you feel the smaller. You feel like, you just feel like what you're, everyone feels like what they're going through is exclusive to them. Yeah, and they're just going through it alone. Exactly. That's, that's like the, I think that's the biggest misconception that as humanity we have, you know what I'm saying? That we're the only ones going through something, whether it's mental health, whether it's, you know, failure, you know, you didn't get the job, you feel like, oh, fuck, like, the world's against me, I'm the only, you know what I'm saying? And I think when you start reaching out to people and admitting that you don't have it all together, that's just the first step in solving it. Like, the first step to solving a problem is recognizing you have one. No, absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, You're not going to stumble on a solution. Mistake. You might, but... That's, that's like don't, a... Don't, yeah, don't trust don't, that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on that shit, bro, but... No, yeah, no, it's crazy. I'll say, to be honest, you have to look at things like what do you, what do you like. I'll mm-hmm. s- that's why I like even being. Um, that's part of the reason I like, I like helping helping like teenagers, whether it be or just anyone younger than me. Because yeah. I had a lot of people who were considered themselves my big homie that they were my big. They were just older than me. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> you, you're just older than me. You're not my big homie. Like you yeah. didn't. You didn't help. You let you didn't me, help. While bro. I was doing stupidness, you were watching me do it too. And then you're even like, the next time you'll be blessed. Nah, fam, you, you're nuts. You don't be like, get away from me. You, Yo, like this, wanna, nigga, this guy said it on the. Nah, yeah, I don't want to be around you. You guys, so when I see that, I'm like, Yo, don't do that. Like, yeah. eat, don't even look at what I'm doing. Listen to what I'm saying. Because even those people, like, they were bad examples to look at. But even the things they were saying were even worse. Like, <sighs> please, that bro. was the co-sign on top of like oh. justification for yeah. the nonsense. Like, Thanks. like you feel me? Then, so now personally, I, when I see kids, I'm like, because what was 
what was hard for me after I stopped dribbling basketball was more so, yo, I'm, yo there's a lot of life to live in. Yeah. Yo, all I've, all I've done was it's work on my handles. Basketball. Like, you feel me? Practice workouts. Layups and stuff. Like, yeah. That stuff doesn't matter no more. Like, yeah. no one cares what your free throw percentage when you're 17. Bro, like, on, bro. that nah. stuff doesn't matter. So, I always tell kids, teenagers, as, from as young as they'll listen to me, find something that you like. Mm. Find something that you like, and then everything will fix itself yeah. again. Because if you're good at anything, if you're good enough, you can you can make money doing it. Big facts. Anything. Like, Big facts. Their physiotherapists are making more than lawyers because they're doing it. They're doing they physio for the right people yeah. or on a high enough scale. Anything yeah. you do, you can make money doing it. And if you have that mindset to do it, but it's much more enjoyable when you love what you do. Yeah. Not just love money. Because again, after you're done play, after you're done playing too, people stop. You ask them what they're saying, and then it turns to they start talking about how they make money. It's like, bro, I'm doing but, this. But like. You see it like. Do you love it? Like people don't even like the food that they. Eat. I see people at like Ruth Chris and they don't even they don't even like the meat. Everything is to go. So <laughs> yeah. they, they had the lost they had the lobster mac, but they're not enjoying you know, it's it. It's crazy. It's just the one snap pick and they're out of there, bro. That's all it is. That's generally what it is too. People be out. People be <laughs> doing the most. That's a, that's more a, that's, a, that's, more a, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Doing the most. Doing and the like, most. Again, is it for? If it's for you, you don't have to post it for real. Nah, bro. Or, but if you enjoy posting it, like, that's cool, right? Yeah. But I say if you're posting things, just know who you do it for. Because, Big again, things. and just be honest with yourself. You don't have to be honest with me. I expect you to lie to me because, yeah. again, what I'm asking might be uncomfortable. 100%. But as long as you're comfortable with yourself, like, yo, I'm doing this because when people rate me, like, it makes me feel nice. Like, you feel me? If, if you know that's your reason, yo, I'm not going to ask you, yo, why are you doing this? You know, so what's, you know what? You want to know what's crazy, though, bro? Is like, I had Tramel on the episode earlier, and he, was, he said it best. He's like, would you be doing what you were doing if no one was watching? You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you weren't getting the likes on IG or if you weren't getting the attention that you're that you were doing with what you're doing, would you still be doing that that profession? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's part of like figuring out what you're passionate about, what you actually like, because the ball will stop dribbling at some point, like you're saying. No, for real. Even more for so, anything. I'll say like, if you didn't get, let's say when you do start making money, right? If you if there was no money, money, let's say money didn't exist, what would you do then? Like, if That's you had a choice to do. Yeah. Like, would you be happy doing what you're doing? What doing? Or yeah. let's say what you are, you do enjoy what you're doing. Would you still do it? With the same exactly. energy. Like, would you care about being on the NBA, in the NBA? If you were if, making if, millions. If it wasn't on TV. That's facts. If it yeah. wasn't on TV or you didn't make any money, but you're just playing against the best players in the world, yeah. would you still work out the same? Like, would you train the same? Questions that need answers. I'm telling you. That's crazy, bro. Th those are the questions. Like, would you buy, would you clean your shoes if, you it's, feel me, if yeah, no one's going to see it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, right now, you don't know if I'm wearing slippers or if I'm wearing shoes at tell, all right bro. now. Because again, but I'm wearing, I'm wearing what I'm wearing because that's for me. Yeah. So again, it you goes about, it. it all comes down to why are you doing it? When you find out the why, then how you're going to do it, mm -hmm. kinds of, it'll tend to fill in the blanks. Yeah. Just be patient. That's because fast. again, that next man's time is not your time. That's big facts. So for you, you're just saying that you you were playing basketball obviously before, but you had to put it down because you know that's something that you know you kind of took a different course with. So now you're talking about with coaching. You had that transition from playing basketball to actually be in it to now seeing it from the outside in, not necessarily the outside in, but you're seeing it on the sidelines now. So I mean, tell, take us through that process. Like, what got you into that, and like, um, why? Yeah, why'd you do that? Um, I was just in a time where. I felt like I was asking. I was asking a lot. Like, yeah. Of my, of I was always saying. I always felt like I was in. I was in that stage where it felt like I was just by myself. So mm -hmm. like everything I had to do was by myself. I felt like. So I felt like I felt like I was asking. You were alone. I need this. I need this. Yeah. Like So and so didn't give me this. So and so didn't give me that. And then I was. I just thought to myself, what have I given anyone? Like you know. So I. So. No, nah. anyone says, "Yo, do you ever want to get paid to do this?" I said, "Nah, never." Yeah. Like, if I start getting paid to paid to coach on any level, assistant, anything, to me that defeats the purpose to me because like, doing, yeah. for why I do it, I I get so much from watching these kids literally get better to see something that they could do before that they can't do now, mm -hmm. and 
my patience is not the greatest, so that's why I rather yeah, yeah. high school kids that kind of know how to play the game, oh, not teaching kids how to do a layup. Bro. But just more so, it's not even about the sport particularly. I just happen to like basketball. Yeah. Like I have a passion for basketball, but more so the growth. Yeah. So hearing a kid say like, "Yo, I didn't think I could do this," and you helped or, me get do that. Or I thought after high school I was gonna work in a factory, and then watching it being in the gym when they first got they got their first scholarship. Yeah. The first game I ever. Um, I ever went to at Central Tech. Um, my friend's brother, his little brother, got a scholarship to Canisius. Literally, my first time watching, it, my first time even knowing he existed. Yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know he had a brother. <coughs> he got a scholarship. I seen the elation in all his teammates' face. Like that made me. I didn't know this kid from nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know him from nowhere. <coughs> that and just watching that, the brotherhood, just the togetherness, like the camaraderie. Yeah, exactly. That was yeah. a good feeling. Yeah, and simply the give back. Whether it's as long as it's one kid that I remember, well. That I could talk to these kids as long as they could talk to me. The yeah. things, and that's why I'd rather be an assistant than a head because a get, head coach you feel like it's a serious, it's yeah. like a, a lot job of, there's interview, a lot of, yeah, yeah a yeah. job interview to talk to them. Yeah, me, we and again, we have a, a few assistant, co I'm by far the youngest assistant on the, on the, on the team. staff. So, so you just to clarify, you coach at Central Tech right now, Central Tech, the audience? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. So, okay. so just to speak to me, they're not. They'll use different words just speaking to me because it's more relatable. Yeah, like they'll be like, "Ooh, this how you're coming, coach." Yeah, like, like who's that? Like, like, yeah, what's, what's like, yeah, yeah, it's just a different energy. So yeah, I feel like we cover all bases in that respect, and it's giving something back to the kids. Like I don't need nothing. I don't. I don't want nothing. That's that's actually amazing, bro. Because I think it comes down to just making a difference, and I think when you see yourself helping someone out, whether it's giving back or helping someone get through a certain situation, it, help, it helps us in a sense. It makes us feel good. I mean, obviously, we all have our reasons, but for you, that's, that's a big one. That's important, bro, because, shit, I know a lot of people that might be suffering from just finding what they're passionate about. And that's a struggle, bro. Like, really taking the time to figure out, yo, what do I like, what do I enjoy is, is tough, knowing that maybe you got something taken away from you, whether it's a sport or a, a person that's close to something, you know, like mm -hmm. what, what can help you bounce back from that? And that's a process that, you know, obviously you went through and, you know, countless others. So like, yeah, it's going to take a time. Yeah. I feel like it's going to take a time because you're going to, as an independent person, as an independent person, you're going to get used to telling your, you tend to do things past a fresh, like past yeah. a threshold point. Yeah. And that's where that what you say in question gets awkward for people mm -hmm. because so in the back of your brain, you knew you should have kind of stopped. Like, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, you knew yeah, when, yeah. 100%. when you're doing the same moves you used to do and then you're not getting by anymore. Yeah. And that's, that, let that be a metaphor, not basketball. Yeah. Just like the things that you used to get away with, like, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not working started, no more. Yeah. It might be time to venture into something else. But you keep on pushing, pushing. Now when someone asks you what you're saying, you're like... Yo, I just talked to an agent, or I've just talked to, I talked to somebody, I'm, or I'm mm -hmm. working on this, and you know you're not working on Come it. On, bro. But how that, bro? Please, bro. Just, just yo, tell yourself. me, like, yo, to be honest, yo, I, I've been having a hard time. Just, you didn't even have to tell me that. I'd be like, yo, nothing right now. But if, yeah. you, if you if you see anything, or if you see just something, let me know. As long as you're man. honest, yo, yeah. maybe something. Maybe you don't have a job, and you're not really ready for a job. But yeah. once someone asks you that question. Take it upon yourself to do something with that. Like, if you know, like, well, that person asked me what I'm saying and I'm not really saying anything, like, why? Yeah. When you, like, once you start, let that be the process and give yourself an honest answer. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say to me again, mm -hmm. but give yourself an honest answer and let that be a stepping stone for you. Big facts, bro. Big, yo, there's a whole lot of chance being dropped right now, bro. Shit, I wasn't even expect. I knew there was going to be a couple drop, but not like this, bro. Shit. It's a big part of why I brought you on here, bro, but, um... I kind of just wanted to switch up the topic a little bit, bro. Um, just to, I want to focus on more like the media side. There's been some some recent occurrences of like just, uh, certain celebrities, you know, that have been getting flamed recently. One of those is Tory Lanez. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Are we canceling him or not, bro? Yo, me personally, I'm not gonna bump that you, but the, <laughs> yeah. but the thing, but the thing is like. I don't. I won't speak. People are really quick to speak when yeah. no one asks. When like, feel, even when they don't no have one, the information if no one, too. If no one is asking you, just take take it's a second. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Because if you enjoy the man's music, yo. If you have to do it in private, then just <laughs> if you. Because let's say, yo, that's your favorite artist. 
don't make it, you don't care for that. Like I said, these celebrities don't really exist. I just know this guy is the man that makes music. What yeah. he does in his personal life, it's, like you feel me? Yeah. Mind you, me Percy, because he did that, I just feel like there's too many other artists. Like, he's not my favorite artist. Like, yeah, yeah. So, but if my favorite artist did something, I'll have to sit back and look kind like it. I'll part, look at it different. But this guy, yeah, like, yeah. I didn't... If it came on shuffle, like, you might get, you feel me, skipped. You might get a next, yeah, yeah, skip. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even, I might even question why I even have it. <laughs> you like, yo, me? Tom, so, what am I doing right now? No, nah, yeah, yeah. so for real, like, what, if what he's, what happened was true, then that's a little bit, mm. no, no, not a little bit, that's waste, but. I, I think it's a, it's a, it's tough to separate the music from the person himself, like, you know, even with R. Kelly, I'm still seeing that guy being bumped to this day on road. I'll, no, I'll hear, I, swear to God, I heard it last week, bro, swear to God. You know what I'm saying? So, like... To be honest, like, you don't know what that... It might not be that person. Like, you feel me? It might be what that music did for you. Like, Yeah. So, I don't ever want to say, like... Because, again, some people are saying they forgave another another artist for doing something. So, why are we, like... And then it turns to, like... Is wrong wrong? Or, like, are we putting levels of wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we we being choosy Like, yo, I mean, he didn't... Yo, that person shot somebody, but the, the victim didn't die. Like, it's right. Like, it's yeah, just yeah. an AM. Like, you feel me? You know, it doesn't make sense because if you're saying that, we got to have that same that same pressure towards all these celebrities, bro. I mean, I even heard, like, this is last year, uh, Cardi B was drugging men and stealing their, you know? See, like... I, like, this, bro. That's what I'm got, saying. There's like, got to be, like, there's got to be some limits. Like, what, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? What are we like, letting go, or... <laughs> what are we letting slide or what are we saying? Nah, it's not, it's not exactly. title. Like, if you have a Grammy, does that exactly. give you a pass for a little while or you could dance? <laughs> Yeah, you, you so can dance then, cigar, okay, bless. cool. Though. Yeah, I mean, Tori can sing, but he's not dancing like Chris. Hell no, so, bro. Hell no. let's, let's that letting that slider, you yes, know? That's what I mean. Like, yeah. it, also, the difference is I've seen people saying, <laughs> Why are people harder on Chris than they were on Lanes? But I'm like, and for me, I didn't really understand because, again, these people don't exist to me, so mm. like, they're just literally music, so mm. I don't view them as like. I'm not going to go to Fresco and see Chris Brown or I'm not going to, you feel me, go mm-hmm. anywhere and see Lanes. Like, so these people only exist to me in the capacity that I want them to. Yeah. So if I want to bump your track, it's that song and that's it. Facts. I don't have to think about what you do with your life, what you do with your money doesn't matter to me. Facts. I'm never going to say, yo, Jeff Bezos has this and this amount of money. Right. Why he's not I'm not watching that. men's pockets yeah, like see, that. See, that's what I'm saying. Sense, like, yeah. you feel me? Because yeah. people, People have got hurt for counting in someone else's pockets. Like, yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Mind the business, like mind your business more times than not. That's, like, that's all it comes down to, bro. Because again, I've seen people as soon as something has happened, they go from the sh- they go from the shade room and straight to Twitter and start giving their opinion. And that's but why not no, everyone asked for it, that. It, nobody asked. No, nobody exactly, asked for bro. your opinion. Like it's, on anything, more little, times than not. Like so. Again, for you to have such strong, like, yo, let's all cancel somebody, that's, that's wild. Like, <laughs> yo, that's super that's wild. When you really like, take it in, bro, you yeah. know how crazy that sounds, fam? You're going out of nowhere saying, like, because someone did this or that, like... Because it offended you personally, you feel like, yo, oh, right. it, the person is going through the due process of whatever they have to go through yeah. and then charge that to whatever. Yeah. Because people... Because it makes... If you react too quickly to things, you end up looking like a fool yourself because, mm-hmm. like... As new information comes out, now you have to recant what you said. Exactly. And then You're some more information came to like, and then uh, someone starts putting side by side the yeah. two things you said, and now you look like. Yo, See, that's you- that's the thing. I, I mean, that's why whenever some certain issues pop up, I like to kind of sit back and reassess. Okay, what what are the facts and what are like some of the opinions? Obviously, with that Tory and Meg situation, bro. Like that's that's if you're gonna pop a, a woman in her in her foot, bro. That's, that's I don't know a lot that could justify that. I don't know if there's anything that could justify. No, that. I don't know if there's you know what I'm saying. There, there really is it. There really isn't. Although I still want to hear Tory's side, there really isn't anything that could justify you know popping a woman no, in, in I, her I foot. Do, I do want to hear Tory's oh, side. Oh, for too, sure. I want to just see the full process. One hundred percent. To me, again, Broski is free. Like I don't know too many people who let it off like like that. There's video surveillance, and especially in the states too, bro. That's again, off on bro. Thirty five bands up. And it, you're walking it's, here. It's not making sense. Yeah, that's something. And there's no one. It's not like he rat on. I don't know who's there to rat on. Like exactly. See, yeah. if it was someone else, there's a party full of people happening when the party's going on. You could say, oh, he's cooperating or something like yeah. along those lines. In, in a situation like this, like it's private. So again, I don't know. I just wanted to make sense. Right now, we've heard one person talk, but mm-hmm. when you hear one person talk, 
Everyone has a strong opinion bro, in any situation. Every, please, you hear a breakup bro. and you only hear one person's side. That no other, one's ever going to say, yo, I was really annoying and I used to nag this guy. Come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> facts, nah, like, facts. It's, it's never that. Dude, or facts. Like, nah, I was always, nah. You know, it was my that. fault, but like, you know, no, nah, it, never. It, it's never that. So Admitting you're wrong is one of the hardest things for people to nah, do sometimes, bro. I'm too good at that. Yeah. Baby steps. Like, yeah, 100%, bro. That's that's facts, man. Um, I just kind of, I something just came to mind, bro. Like, I find that this is a hot take right now. Talk to me. In relationships, bro. I wasn't even trying to get to relationships. I already talked about this shit before. But anyways, in relationships, you rarely hear. As she, as she just turned around. She's like, ah, let me hear this shit. <laughs> I rarely hear a girl admitting I lost a good one. No. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. how, how many times have you heard that before, bro? I've, I've never heard that. <laughs> I, I, why, why is that, though? I don't even. I'm kind of curious. My, bro. my question is normally like, "Have you ever been wrong?" Like, mm. If I, mm. Mm. it's always yeah, but or yeah. It's yeah, never. It's, it's never just a, I accept it is my fault. It no, is what you it have is. to yeah. like. You have to. If only I've been wrong, then you have to, you're already wrong right there. Facts. That's just. It doesn't. How, how come I'm always please, wrong? Bro, please, like, come on, bro. It just. It's just. It doesn't make sense, bro. Something's not adding up, fam. But right, uh, it's hard for me, like. To come across people that they'll tell you a situation where they'll give you everything, like about the other, oh, you're talking about but both sides, right? Yeah, uh, man. never like so when it's being conveyed. Well, even is even in in situations that are smaller, like you were just talking about why you guys were late. Yeah, it's never like, yo, it's because I'm not good with time yeah. management. It's, yeah, it's literally because yo, you should have told me earlier. You know, I take yeah, you know, facts. I take long to get ready. Yeah, so. Me telling you two hours ahead, like that's my fault because yeah. you know I take long. Or see, like bro, it's just a, it's just about responsibility at the end of the day. I think the older we and get, accountability, and accountability facts. I mean, in coaching, you 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 see that all the time. You're dealing with these kids who might have a problem with that, but you know, it's kind of your job to say, "Yo, listen, you gotta you gotta get back on track, bro." Because no, yeah, I know it's we adulting. Take, we have to take accountability too. Facts. Like if you put someone in a position that. They're not able to succeed in it. I'm not playing Jameer, Mel- Jameer Nelson at the five. Like, hell no, bro. To do what? What are you doing here, I'm not bro? I'm playing Derek Fisher at the five. Hell f- no, feel bro. Me? Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make like sense. He's not in a situation you can succeed. You put you want to put him in the best position to succeed, exactly. obviously. So, so when I when I when you fail and I put you in a situation that you couldn't succeed in, mm-hmm. right? Like, then I did. I did, I have to take accountability too. Like, mm-hmm. you were unable. But I put I put you in a situation that yeah. you could not succeed. Like yeah. so you were unable, you're not prepared to do that. Yeah. So you have to look at who you delegate certain things to, yeah. and that also leads to people being independent. Like, um, since we're on the topic of relationships, yeah, I t- I find out that like certain people, male or female, are not ready for what they want. You have to be able. You have to be ready for what you want, th- whether it be a job, yeah. a relationship, anything. Some people want a job, and they're not ready for that not job. not welcoming for it. They're not prepared for it. Exactly. I think right. a big part of it, too, is a lot of us are, we want things, but we're also attracted to something else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think what it, whether it's relationships or a job, like, we might want this thing, but, you know, deep down in our heart, we might want this thing, but that thing on the side, like, shit, that looks real good. You know what I'm saying? So why would I want that when that is trapped? So it's, it, we're caught up in this, in this tug of war battle between like what is really good for me and what's really good for me now and what may be good for me later on down the, down the road, right? It's also like I find out that there's times where I'm looking at, I'm looking at things and I'm like, I'm looking at things and it's more so like I, I generally know what I want, mm-hmm. but I've never indulged in this, right? Mm-hmm. Like even when... You, you could be hungry or something, but just like I generally know what I normally eat here, but yeah, yo, this is new. And they said, wait, what? Okay, cool. Let me try this out. Yeah, something and then new. it could go great, but also when it goes wrong, you have to know that like yeah. you have to take responsibility for that. Fact. So I, I, someone came out of university and they asked me a question. Um, they were discouraged about like getting a job or whatever, like, mm-hmm. and I was like. <laughs> Do you think you're ready for that? Like, I asked them honestly, like, do you think you're ready for that job? If they gave you the job today, no interview, no nothing. They yeah. said, start tomorrow. Would you be ready? Mm. They sat down and they thought, like, yeah. um, I get, because again, it's been a little while since, like, 
it's been this little while since they were in class or doing something. So I, yeah, it came down to like it was more so like I haven't freshened, I haven't sharpened my my tools mm-hmm. in a while. So like that's why yeah. I know this stuff. But like, so I said, <coughs> you have to get like you have to practice even when you're not even when there's not a game coming. Facts. Like you have to practice even when you're not you're not about to perform just so that you you stay fresh yeah. because for for that like when that blessing comes you you, you might only get one chance yeah. that dream girl comes that you that mean, person that you're looking for yeah. you might only get one chance and if you're not ready when that chance comes it becomes someone else's blessing i think it's even worse to get that blessing and then lose it than actually getting the blessing at all bro because it's tough I and mean, you are not prepared for something that you're looking forward to almost your whole life or whatever it may be and then you're like like you start questioning yourself like did i did i work hard enough like is is there something wrong with me but nah man bro that's that's big facts what you're saying though bro just being ready and welcoming for for what you want do you think do you think that like you had an opportunity like there's an opportunity right you look back at it whether it be a girl or anything yeah and you look back at it and be like or you're looking for like you i'm looking for a job or I'm looking for this situation, whether whatever the situation may be, right? And you look back at it and you're thinking like, um, you're thinking you're thinking like, yo, this was what I was looking for and mm-hmm. I passed up on it. Mm-hmm. Like, do you feel like you have that regret that like I I had that one time, yeah. Just, I think I could say that with re- like relationships. Mm-hmm. Like one relationship in particular. But yeah, no, I think I could say that like if I can rewind and look back on it, I would have played it differently. Mm-hmm. But but what, what what makes you want, like what makes you say that you would have played it different? Like you, you did you appreciate what you had at that time? Hell or you, no. Or did you no? That's what I'm saying. Like the fact that you didn't appreciate what you had at that time, yeah. or that like you didn't know that that's what you wanted. I, I would say that I didn't know that's what I wanted, but mm-hmm. I also think that just comes down to maturity at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like when you're at a young age, when you're in high school or whatnot, mm-hmm. you don't really know what you want. You're listening to your friends, your circle, your OGs about what they're saying about this and that. You're trying to live that life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So kind of looking back on it, it would, if I could tell my younger self, I would just be like, yo, just do you. Simple as that. Just do you. I think mm-hmm. that just goes with anything in life. Just do you, bro. Because at least if you fail, you know what's on yourself rather than someone else telling you something and you fuck up. Like, who do you blame? Like, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that, and that right there, me and my brother talk about it all the time. Like, I'm okay failing by myself. Like, yeah. I'm okay feeling myself because I'm confident in what I can do. So mm-hmm. if it doesn't go through, I know it's on me. When it starts involving other people, whether it's yeah. whether it's a job, whether it's making money, whether it's doing anything, mm-hmm. if I know like other people, like now, yeah, I don't want to be. I'm gonna get mad if it goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be mad at me and know that yeah. our cool, charge that to the game. Let me, re- to, let me exactly. regroup. Yeah, I'm trying to point fingers to myself. If, if I have else. the option to get mad at someone else, I'm. Subconsciously, I'm gonna get mad at you. Yeah. Like, if this didn't go well because, like, because of me, mm-hmm. but you were also a part of it, I'm not a part of it. Oh, hell no. It's your fault. Hell no, like, for sure. So, th- that, but also, you have to understand that to be great, there's, there's a cap on how, you, how good you could be by yourself. Mm. Like, eventually, you're gonna need that team. So, but living Thanks. like that, that you don't want other people to blame or other. Th- like it's hard it's tough, that yeah. contrast it's between a, like it's a balance because I, I think when you progress within a, with whatever field you're into you, you're going to take on more of a load and you know you're going to have to delegate some of that to other people with whatever it's in your circle you know what I'm saying so yeah what you're saying before bro is it's you got to build a team around anything the most successful people have a team around them it's Absolutely. not it's not it might look like they're doing it by themselves but yo behind the scenes they probably got like four or five people whatever whatever the number may at be least, like, at so, least yeah. and the question is um out of, th- out of the two other people you have in here, I've met one of them before, right? Yeah. I, I know the person taking the camera, like, yeah. on the camera, I've, kn- I've seen him around you guys yeah. before. Like, you know, th- this is someone I've seen a, a yeah. few times. So, because you need that team, right? Do you feel that you have to let certain people go? Like, or, just- or sometimes, because again, if there is someone, like, how do you feel about, if someone else a better videographer, right? Or better at taking pictures. Would you, hey, bro, like, I need the, when, I think, when, when you come up, I, I'll holler at you, yeah. or I think, do you grow with them? I think there's a certain sense of, for me, I'm, I'm, there's a certain sense of loyalty to, like, the people around me. 
So when I see people that I'm working with or whatever, if I see a project, I'm gonna be like, yo, I'll holler at them. Like, yo, I got this going next week. What are you, what are you up to right now? So mm-hmm. that's that's the kind of the way that I look at it. But um, just with the circle that I have, if I'm bringing on new people, I, I'm doing my research on them before, making sure that they're suitable and they can kind of gel along with the people that are already on the team, mm-hmm. right? So, I mean, obviously with this, like with the episode like this with one K conversation, it's just me and you, right? Mm-hmm. But um, with my guy Alex, how we had it before with me, him, and then our guests, we kind of make sure that everyone is is gelling well together. And so even doing this out here, I got I got my man Alan out here kind of helping behind the scenes. So he's he's been helping a lot too, but he's gelling well with the team with what we're kind of doing here. So um, yeah, I think it just all comes down to just chemistry and just you know knowing your own and just doing it well. No, and I a hundred percent understand that like yeah i even appreciate seeing like when i see people going to ventures and seeing seeing mm-hmm. them with familiar faces i know that, like that makes me feel good that mm-hmm. i but like, what's the loyalty based on like because again certain people feel like if i knew you the longest then, then yeah I, you should be loyal to me but i've known you but yeah, i haven't sure. i've known you for 10 years but i've only known you to be serious for 18 months yeah so like <laughs> I, I can't really like those other years those what are we years were just filler yeah. you, like you weren't on nothing you didn't show like and I've known you it's not no disrespect to you but you have you start getting things together as mm-hmm. of recent so as far as like what I'm pursuing like you have to still build that equity with me Facts. some people will take offense to that like yo yo fam I've been here from the jump da 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 bro yo fam I knew you before all this fam and now you're picking this my you from where Nah, like man, yo, that, you don't know that guy. I think a lot of that day one shit is overrated, bro. Obviously, obviously there's some there's some worth to that. Like if I know nah. you from from time, obviously we've been through some shit together. So obviously I'm. A, but that's where it is. We've been through some things together. Just because I know you doesn't mean like you never had no hardships. Like that's the thing too. Yeah, if you haven't, if you never went through anything with those people, then it doesn't matter how long you went, how long you know them, bro. That's it, kind it, of <laughs> someone simple. said I was wrong for this, but I said. There's a level of, of how I could consider you my friend if me and you never, we never fought. Not physically, but we never had no disagreement. We never yeah. had arguments. Like, there's n- never been a week. I'm like, yo, I don't like this guy. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. or, like, I don't Facts. even want to be around this youth Facts. anymore. Because I feel like that way about my parents. And yeah. I love my mom to death. So, yeah. like, if I feel like way with my mom, there's no way I could love you Hell to the point I've no, never disagreed nothing with you. Like, yeah. that's craziness. I, I think if you haven't gotten at least one, like, serious fight with a friend, and obviously I'm not advocating for fighting. And yeah, shit, no. But, like, if you haven't had that tension with your friend at least one time, they're, they're not your friend, bro. No, that's... Because you got to look at it this way, bro. If you have two people from two different households, two different backgrounds, you're not going to agree on everything. There's some that you're gonna be like yo even this same, is my even opinion the same household even to say exactly this I, like this is my opinion and that's your opinion you know what i mean so to say that you guys go along in this lifestyle and and not disagree on nothing come on bro like are you guys robots at this point you guys are yes men like what is that? i don't know what it is exactly bro, but. so now my next question is uh, just something that i'm thinking of like in a relationship right yeah like i i said something i'm like i feel like the re- Cause during that puppy love stage, everything is everyone smiling. Yeah, everything yeah, is like oh, that honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, that stuff not to me. Like it's it doesn't start till the first time you have a, a disagreement. disagreement. Like how do we handle things then? Mm. Like you feel me? That's why I even feel the importance of like before I would get married to someone, I would want to live with. I would want to live with them because yeah, yeah. like there's certain things that like you don't realize until you're around someone. Yeah, like, the stuff that you don't know. Like, little tendencies. The, the things that they do with their socks. Like, <laughs> just small stuff. Like, How they brush their teeth. Like, when why are you, why are you leaving the toilet off? When they brush their teeth. Like, when they brush their teeth. Like, stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. just like... You don't know how you... Because, again, yeah. when you see... When you seen her from across the room in the club or wherever you were at, you didn't really... Th- not those things are not things like, like what she does with her socks. Yeah, and, like, you feel me? Yeah. How often she does her line. That's not really... That's not nothing, but... Now I'm realizing that just small things that mm. are almost like insignificant, mm. but when they're in your space. So going back to what I was saying about until that first fight, everything is like all the things that uh, all the things that will annoy you after that first fight, disagreement, mm. whatever, you are waving it off. Yeah. Like, don't worry, order me anything yeah. off the menu. Like it doesn't matter because yeah. as long as I'm eating with you, everything is I mean, it's tastes cozy, good. Yeah, like it's nah. yeah. after that, like no, you have to like don't just get strawberry ice cream. Like nah, 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 you need to learn that. Like yeah. you feel know I me? Mean? Like yeah, don't bring that around me. Nah, it's, you exactly. That's yeah. more like yo, this is who I am. Like mm-hmm. 
at that point, you guys, like, whatever it is, like, whatever. <laughs> the water, you could give me the water with the cap off, mm-hmm. don't worry. Like, put it in my backpack. It doesn't matter if it spills everywhere. Yeah. Like, everything is still blessed because I'm with you. Yeah. After that time, you're like, yo, what are you doing? Like, yeah, you're too old to be doing this. Like, <laughs> now, or like... Dog, that honeymoon stage is real, bro. That shit is real. But once it's over, it gets even realer. But once it's over, like... You don't, you don't even know if you like. You don't even know if you like the person. Like, yo, exactly. Is, is it or just, did I ever like this person? Yeah. Like, is it, was I just? Is it lust or was I just? A, you know. Again, just, I, I've, I don't ne- know. I've never smoked or drank, but <laughs> I've been in that stage, and I'm like, yeah. that's the closest I've been to being high. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Or drunk? I'm yeah, like, yeah. So like nothing matters. Like, that's how I envision it being. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> yo, nothing matters at this stage. Like, yeah, everything, everything is good. Yeah. Everything is just you're smiling. You're on the phone. You have work at nine, but you're on the, you're on the phone till like four. Five. You wake up and your phone is dead, but that doesn't matter. Because like, you had a great now, conversation. Like, yo, my phone is at seventy percent. Yo, what are we talking about? Like, mm. yo, text me, bro. You're, me. That that shit makes your day, bro. Like, you really like when you're talking to that right person, bro. You really like. Your whole day, your whole day's made. But when you have those arguments or that tension, it's like, you, yo, you know, <laughs> you know, it's the worst, bro. You ever work a shift at a job and get into like a heated argument or some piss, some shit? Just someone texts you some shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, d- definitely. To the point. And you gotta finish the shift after, bro. I'll give you something. I'll turn that up. Have you ever been at a party and like someone texts you now, like you're talking and now you just stop talking. <laughs> yo, 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 fam, you gotta do your own. Yeah, yeah, what's that? Yeah, you say, like, yeah. And you feel yourself getting hot, and you're like, yo, everyone around you is having fun. Yeah. And that's what, but that goes down to like also energy. Like, mm. negative energy, I feel like it's strong. Yeah. Very strong. Yeah. Because. If you put a ketchup stain on the corner of a shirt, you're gonna notice it. It's a big shirt. Yeah. That shirt is dirty. Yeah. Like one little negative affected the whole thing. Yeah. If you have someone at your I I gave the example to my mom. Like if someone was at your wedding and there was just one table, you guys have fifty tables and there's one table and everyone's just frowning, you'd be like, yo, you guys leave. Like this yeah. is not how I want to be you know, back in your photo op yeah. when you're seeing people like screw your face thing. Yeah, this is shit, bro. Get this, away. Is dress, this is the DJ they got. Yeah, yeah. Like, you feel like mm. those few, those six people at that table ruined it for the other twelve hundred people you had in yeah. the whole place. Yeah, and that right there, like, so it's contagious, bro. That's with everything too, though. Even with basketball, bro. You ever play with people that are just super toxic or super negative? One play and it affects the whole team throughout, bro. That's bro. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure every hooper has, has experienced that, bro. But yeah, yeah. Now nah, there's a point guard that I. <laughs> That I don't dislike as much as my friend, but he has a strong, strong disdain opinion. for this person. This oh, person okay. micromanages a lot when he has the ball in his hand. Okay, like, yeah, he's doing I'm the most. Wrong. He's doing like, the most. You know, like he's always telling everyone to down screen. Like, yo, fam, mm-hmm. give me. You doing, bro? Just make it simple for yourself, bro. Fam, like yeah. it's not serious. You're talking yeah. about C cuts and stuff and <laughs> it runs like. <laughs> it's too much, bro. It's only an hour and a half, like. But yeah, bro. On uh, on that note, bro. Honestly. This is an amazing episode, but before we just wrap it up, do you have any, any last words, bro? Or um, any new projects, anything new coming up, um, with coaching and endeavors? Or? Um, this is just because of, of COVID, I actually don't know like how they're going to do high school and stuff. So yeah. I don't know if extracurricular is a thing. Um, please come check us out in the OSBA, um, Central Tech Prep. Um, I have, uh, I just have a couple of things. So, Anyone, I just want to say generally, anyone that you're doing something that you're passionate about, please don't worry about where you're at right now with it. Just continue to persist Mm -hmm. if you actually are passionate about. Mm -hmm. If you're not, come to that conclusion by yourself. Forget about what your parents are saying. Anyone, your significant other, Mm -hmm. find what makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, happiness is above everything. Thanks. As when I didn't have money. Small things are making me. Small things were making me happy. Mm-hmm. When I got money, there was days where I was just in my room, just like, just like I didn't, fun. yeah, I didn't need to do nothing. Like I didn't need to do anything to get money, but I thought money was gonna make me happy. Mm-hmm. No, like yeah. I didn't have things. Yeah. So find what makes you happy, not what you think. Whether it be, and please, don't, I would pre- prefer for it not to be attention, but whatever it is. Find what makes you happy and do whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's what you should work hard towards. Mm-hmm. Work hard towards making that uh, an everyday part of your life. Yeah. 
find people that you love around you and that love you and that you can love them and just keep on working towards that um and be different thanks and that and simple that's as what that. I have to give simple as that bro I like it man on that note we out